Okay guys, so I just finished unboxing Django Fett and putting him together. Um, I mean, everything went pretty smoothly except for his range finder. You gotta be careful in putting this guy in. He is, um, it is like kind of flimsy right now because I didn't want to force uh, the range finder in. The material uh, that they use, I mean, it's, it's, it feels like metal, but I didn't want to force anything in and snap anything off. It just feels that delicate, yes. I mean, it is uh, like a metal material, but it is thin. So, um, I mean, the hole that uh, is there to put, uh, you know, to hold it in place, uh, I'm not too sure if it's not wide enough uh, and they need to sand it down some more. Uh, it's just not a perfect fit. So you just got to be careful in putting uh, the rangefinder in. Uh, obviously, uh, like I, I mentioned before, you just don't want to snap anything off. Uh, but besides that, everything else is really, really uh, cool. You know, the magnets that they use are not flimsy. Um, this hand, I mean, it shakes a little bit. It's not that bad. Um, the other one's not too bad. It fits snug. The helmet is uh, snug in there too. Um, everything else went in pretty quick, uh, pretty good. The paint application that they use is amazing. This guy is so far, I, I'm really liking him. I'll do a more in depth review, um, and uh, I'll try to put it up by next week. But you know, this is just like you know, my first impression of Django Fett premium format. So Look at the armor, the weathering there. Uh, the material that they use for the pouches, his belt is, I mean, you feel it. It feels like real leather. Um, uh, the gun holster, I mean, take a look. It almost looks like real leather. The pants are sewn on pretty well. Some more weathering on the armor, some some more like scratches and battle damage. The base is unique and heavy and amazing. Yeah, so with the pose too is really cool. I guess they're they're trying to uh, mimic the fight um, bet between him and Obi-Wan in Kamino. But overall, this guy is, it might, you know, to me it might be one of the, uh, one of those statues that kind of flew under the radar. I mean, look at the side of his his armor, I mean, that, that material, you feel it, it's thick, nice and thick. So, they really didn't cheap out on anything here. So right now, I just have the Raylo jetpack on. All right, let me switch it out to the exclusive. Either one looks pretty cool. I just like the fact that um, they added this as an exclusive and not like another like hand like that's like a fisted hand or something. Um, so I mean can I get you know more bang out of the buck with this one. I mean it's heavy too so let's see get the other one. This one's a little bit lighter. Yeah, so overall, this guy, no complaints so far. I'm loving it. I can't wait to display him with his son. I have the, uh, 
the Boba Fett premium format and uh, you know I'm really excited to put them together uh, let me know what you guys think of this guy uh, did you guys pre-order him thinking about pre-ordering him um, you know comment below like and subscribe please share it with your friends uh, thank you again for checking out this video there will be more videos to come Again, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.